Hey everyone, Derek here, and we recently took a look at some of the vending machines available here in Japan, as there are more machines per person than anywhere else in the world. I recently came across this machine, selling some of Sega's classic Japanese consoles as capsule toys, and thought it might be worth taking a closer look. Just pop in four 100 yen coins, twist the wheel, and see what you get. We dropped 20 bucks on five systems, so stick around and see what we got. This is Inside Japan. First, we have the Sega Mark III, which came out in 1985. This one came with a controller and a removable ROM card and game cartridge, which fit right into the system. It also includes the FM sound unit accessory, which improved the sound quality. This system is a slightly beefed up revision of the SG-1000 released in 1983. I've never actually played the system myself, but it looks pretty cool. Here we have the Master System coming with two controllers and a game cart. This is a remodeled export of the Mark III launched to compete with the NES in America. While being more powerful, Nintendo won the generation, but the system did find popularity in Europe and Brazil. Next up we have the Mega Drive. This came with a controller and a game, as well as the power base adapter, which would allow you to play older Master System games on your Mega Drive. Released in Japan in 1988, known as the Genesis in the US. With this system coming out much earlier than the Super Famicom, the Mega Drive and Genesis had flashier graphics and really impressed me when I first bought one. The system generally did well worldwide, except in Japan, where Nintendo and the PC Engine dominated. Now let's move on to the Sega Saturn, released in Japan in 1994. Here we have the launch console in grey, and it includes a controller, as well as a tiny copy of Virtual Fighter, the system's first big hit. Competing against the PlayStation and later the N64, the system carved out its own niche with some unique games and good 2D fighting game ports. And finally we have the Dreamcast here. This cool little model includes the system, controller, and even two Dreamcast memory units that can be plugged into the controller. You can even take off the system's removable modem. This console holds a special place in my heart having worked for Sega promoting the system at Disney World in early 1999 before its September American release. At that time, me and a friend imported the Japanese version, which was so much fun, and I continued playing it through college with my roommates. Overall, I think this was a pretty good haul. Five systems and no duplicates. They're well made and a fun collectible that doesn't take up too much space. If you'd like to see more videos about games in Japan, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. This has been Inside Japan.